Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we got Sneasler. And... Sneasel. That's level 55. Okay, I'm not using you for a while. Right, let's see. Strong style, Iron Head. Let's see if I can throw a great at you. Nice. Pepper Plan. That. I can craft a super potion. And I can make it a hyper potion. I'm gonna try and head away. So, back up here. I'm feeling fairly confident about this. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. Anyways, me 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 That's not fair. What the hell? I think I'm gonna try and eliminate this gun tank. I'm going to revive Hephaestus. Let's try and get rid of that Zubat completely. There we go. A 
sacrifice this gem. And they'd all be super effective, so why not do Raging Fury to finish this off completely? Oh my god, that was awesome! And overkill! Move Master plus new move. Should check out the new move. Melly is not really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Matt? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electra would like, so here's it. Amy! What now? I... I could hear you just... Uh, if you're wondering what that beat was, it's that I've got low electricity. I was gonna pay my pay as you go meter today, but you know, that kind of didn't happen. So I'll do it tomorrow. Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Matt here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him what he needs. Crunchy... That he needs country salt. I was gonna go, go right ahead and give it to him. Now it's time to make some bombs. So let me hand both of you. So what I'm no What I was going to do was go all the way to the starting area. All the way on the other end of the map so I could heal. Why? And I'd like to do some shopping. Why not make it 30 potions? Yeah, that's enough. Moody Arena. Right, let's do this. Don't stop moving. 
That's the advice that I got from my partner when he did it. Okay, that's kind of funny. Right, what do I have to do? Okay, okay, okay! He just bombs you! Oh my god. They're not wrong. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god, this is... I just have to keep running. It's also part grass type. It may be unable to move. Well. Just gonna fire fang it. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna send off out one of its own kind. Um just gonna revive the Feistus there. Uh, 
so I have to do a lot of bullet hell. Can I just do a bit of a heal? Thank you. Anyway, where where was I? Oh yes. Ah! Yeah, that's a one, one shot. Oh no. Yeah, no, there's three things chasing after me. I'm not getting in hedgeways. If this hits me, I'm probably dead. Oh no, I have to. I just, I just have to run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. Just one more time. Oh my god, that was... Okay, no, I preferred the Lilligan boss fight. That was not good. I did not like that. Oh, I really did not like that. I really didn't like that. Okay.
exact plate. Ah, uh, okay. Me, 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 me. Is that how you see it? Electra looked relieved to me. Glad its sufferings ended, probably. I arrived right on schedule. Now what did you... Oh, sorry. I only say that I recalled some things after Matt had me the honor of traveling with me. Thanks to the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive par partnerships with them. And then there were po the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, uh, the, through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon, and their opponents, and, and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Matt? It sure was. I never thought such a world could ex exist. Me, 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 me. Alright, alright, open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not all my sin to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best to run toward the destination and even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Matt. It surely lies with your next lord. Now, this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps with some time like Matt to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Matt. Can we find any way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinner really wants from us. After all, it rules o over all time, and it created everything there is. Me, me, me! Me, 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 me! And scene. Um, crafting as many hyper potions as I can. I think I'm just going to head back to the the camp there we go Okay, I have a feeling I will need to be level 5 by the time I get back to the village. Or, or by the time I need to go to the next area, so I'll continue on 
with um, the video until then, and I'll end the video once. So, Commander Commando. Hmm. So Warden Melly believes the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but what? It, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty sinner drive the nobles to frenzy? It's a, is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokémon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokémon. And what is, what is that space-time lift anyway? What calls it to open? Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on then. To the wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato moki. I'm getting tired of this cutscene. I'm just gonna s just button mash it to get out of it. But yeah, I was not a fan of that fight. I'm pretty sure there's one more noble fight left. Apparently it's the hardest one in the game. It's Avalug. And Avalug apparently is really annoying. Because not only is it a bit of a bullet hell, and but it also has other things going on. And then phase two is like, oh, how about we stack these things? Getting rice and early. Is it? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commando's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation. I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for. Come on. No need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. It wasn't easy! When word of those frenzy arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamt that some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster, Alabaster Icelands. He is also the target of the nobles, according to what Evita told me. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalug may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to set up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then, the Lord of the Tundra. No matter how many of these frenzy Pokemon you make well, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No number of people, no small number of people, will still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can do 
The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Well, I try that. Yeah! Tell poor this worm pull outside at once. Ahem. So, you are to survey the Alabaster Islands next. This is a treacherous climb you'll face in all of Italy. If you intend to go, show me you're equal to the challenge by earning a fifth star. Witness Pokemon using moves in various styles, catch Pokemon at different times, complete such research tasks to raise your rank, and aid with any requests that might be found on the Professor's Blackboard. So... Yeah, can't go to the Iceland yet, but... I will by next episode. So next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus, we shall go to the Icelands. See you guys then.